Gentlemen, thank you all for coming to the second Saudi University Men's Debate Contest. We appreciate everyone's participation. I'd like to start the meeting by asking everyone to please take out their cell phones and turn it off or turn it to silent, especially during the speeches and during the debates themselves. And with that, I would like to introduce the rector of Prince Sultan University, Dr. Ahmed Yamani. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sabah al khair jamian. Well, it is a great pleasure for all of us here at PSU, Prince Sultan University, and we are indeed pleased and delighted to have you all here this morning, the, of course, university participants, as we began the second Saudi University men debate comp competitions. We welcome you all, competitors and audience alike, here at PSU. And we want to thank you for joining us on this occasion. And of course, for choosing PSU as the venue and the platform for the competition. I would also like to acknowledge and thank our judges for finding and taking time out of their busy schedule to support and be, uh, be part of this important event for the sake of our students. At this time, I would like to remind the teams that the competition they are about to take part in today is a storied and timely event. Storied because it is part of a long and noble tradition. Timely also because that tradition is as relevant today as it was when it first started a thousand years ago. The significance of debate stretches back to the beginning of Eastern and Western cultures. Debate is not simply a matter of winning an argument. It is about taking an argument and examining it from all sides. Debate is about considering an argument, strengths and weaknesses, all in an effort towards arriving at a better understanding of the topic involved. That is what the teams will be doing today. They will be striving towards truth and core activity of universities since time immemorial. But that activity, noble though it may be, is not an end in itself. It can have sound practical application in contemporary society. As our country moves forward into the 21st century and as it implements the goals and objectives of the Vision 2030. Our students will need more than just a body of memorial facts. They will need to do more than simply answering questions on a test. They will need to display the ability to craft and hone ideas, to engage with others in constructive dialogue. They will need to examine the flaws in their own ideas based on feedback from others. Once again, they will be testing and refining their ideas, testing and refining ideas in order to lead discussion to a higher purpose. And make no mistake, all of this will require vigorous application and intellect. And debate what the teams will be doing this morning will help our students achieve that mental application. Over the years, academic research has shown the numerous benefits of 
practice in debate. Debating helps to foster cognitive skills and critical thinking, as well as effective presentational style. Debate cuts through, cut across the boundaries of traditional academic subjects. Therefore, it provides students with benefits and skills that cannot be acquired in a traditional academic setting. Debating enables students to de develop the power of deploying rationale and reasoned argument. And reasoned argument it helps them provide compelling evidence to support that argument. It infuses in debaters a great sense of pause and confidence. In other words, it teaches them the skills of researching, organizing, and presenting information in a compelling fashion. And all these skills will, essential, will be essential tool for those among you who will become leaders in your respective field. That is why we at PSU look on this event as being more than a single isolated contest. We would like to develop this event into a large program. We would like to make today's event the cornerstone of a speaking, debating, and presenting program that is open to all universities in the region. Our vision is that the Interim Universities Debate Program and the skills that it fosters should become a national program stretching throughout the kingdom, perhaps even an international program encompassing the entire Gulf region with its base right here in Riyadh. We would like to see, we would like to see it become an integral part of the kingdom's vision 2030 and the continuing development of our country. That is the future, concentrating on today. I trust that this event will unfold as a great competition and learning experience for everyone involved in the debate. May all you all good of luck. We wish you the best. Uh, we would also look at this event as a la launching pad for having PSU to be the, or to be hosting this event annually. And we would love to definitely communicate with other institution universities to uh, have a committee that represented from different universities that would be organizing this event annually. Organizing event, uh, such of course debating, such as also others, uh, activities that we have been doing, like TEDx, like Toastmasters, like MUN, all these uh, essential debates uh, for our students and helping students to uh, improve their skills, communication skills. These are very essential and very important and we will be definitely organizing and contacting university to have this very important uh, event to continue. And of course, we also invite King uh, Abdullah National Dialogue Center, uh, represented by Dr. Abdullah Fouzan, to be also be part of this team or this committee that will be organizing. And also, I already just communicated with the Ministry of Education, and they are willing to come on board to establish this very important program that will benefit all of our students. And thank you all very much. <laughs>